Hello again everyone. Today I'm going to do a simple snack idea. You know, just a little treat. You can use it up either for the kids or for yourself. And it involves two bananas, crushed, ripe bananas. I'm going to crush them. Smushy, smushy, smushy. Okay, so I think that should do it. Oh, there we go. Nice and smushed. Okay. Next, we're going to add our oil. That way it can, you know, get heated by the time we get through with putting all the ingredients together. And this is only a quarter cup of oil. Don't need too much. Okay, and next we're gonna add a third cup of sugar, one cup of flour, and a half a cup of water. And we're gonna mix this around. So we can have some space. Next, we're going to add vanilla, which is only a half a teaspoon, some salt, which is only one teaspoon. And some cinnamon, which is only a half a teaspoon. The oil is hot. Let's put this together. If you don't want to add any sugar, you can go ahead because bananas has their own little sweetness to it. And the longer you let them sit until they get dark, the more, you know, they de develop their own little sugars. Okay, let's put this away. And now we're gonna be using our little one teaspoon, one tablespoon, I should say, to add this mixture to our pan. Because they're gonna be small, they're not gonna be large. Our pot is turned to medium. Because if it's too low, it's gonna suck up all the oil we're going to have to put more. And we don't want too much oil in our system anyway, so it's best really hot. Okay. There we go. Keep in mind, this is all-purpose flour, not self-rising flour. They're doing pretty good so far. After five minutes, we're gonna flip them. So, there we go. These are nice and crispy. Go right. 
And you can add a few more to this pan. Banana fritter is very, very common in my country. We eat them for like every reason, to tell you the truth. We will put that right there. And we're gonna check. Oh yes, they're perfect. There we go. Add a few more. And these you can put in a Ziploc bag and you can store them in the fridge or in the freezer. When your kids come home, they can pop one out and either pop them in the microwave or stick them in the oven. Either ways, they are a perfect idea as lunch for your kids. You can also pop them in their, you know, book bag or lunch pans and send them off to school. Ooh, these are nice. They're really nice. Awesome. Almost there. There we go, we can turn these. Okay, they're all finished. Please note that you don't have to put any sugar or vanilla or even cinnamon. If you like banana flavor, it's good to just use banana and water and flour. Just put that together with some water and fry, and you're good to go. Anyway, that was it for today. This is our finished product. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.